Hey guys, my name is Josh. I'm the co-founder and coach at Think Fit. If you're watching this video, it's because you want to learn more about the knee and how to potentially remove some pain from using the knee. Ultimately, whatever you have, most things tend to be in relation to a tight quad. So the quad, if you can imagine, is the muscles that sit up above the knee. They're responsible for kind of pulling it in any direction uh, if it is tight in a direction. So it's gonna constantly be pulled in one way. And what you're gonna find is the knee isn't going to track as good. So we've got a couple of exercises we can take you through. Um, you may not have these things available at home, but a weighted um, object similar style would be able to help. So I'll go through them now and then uh, we'll show you some other things as well. This video is to help you release your quad, so the upper area of your leg on top, and that's gonna help reduce any of the pain that comes from the top of the knee, right? So I'm gonna use a barbell, but you could use a stick, get right into it, use some body weight. Uh, we also have some other tools that we use within ThinkFit, so you can lay on a roller, uh, you could lay, lay on a peanut or a ball, anything that can kind of get that pressure into the quad muscles. So what that's gonna look like is, for me, I'm going to work through the inside of my thigh here, and if I had any pressure on the inside of my knee, this is kind of where I think to go first. Release, work into it until it feels like there's less pressure. Same for the top, find it. For me, right there is where it's pretty tight, so I just spend some time moving through that. And then you can try the outside as well. So just turn the leg, move yourself into a position that's gonna work for that. Once you've done that, there is, um, what I would do is I would do a squat, I would do a lunge, whatever movement creates pain, and just see how that feels, if it feels better. Awesome, you don't need to do any more. If you feel like it feels a little bit better, um, a little bit less painful, but there's still a bit of pain, I would still go and explore a bit more. Uh, the next one you can do, which I haven't done myself because I've never actually had lower knee pain, but you can get right in under the kneecap if that's where the pain is. And just make sure you don't go too hard with this one, but try and find somewhere where you're releasing it, you're putting a bit of pressure into underneath the kneecap, and then you can just work through that. Test your squat, test your lunge, see how's that, how that feels. Uh, the next one's your TFL that we'll go through to help you understand how to maybe relieve some more pressure from a different area. So this one is the peanut. It's good for, you know, releasing all parts of your body, but we're going to use for our TFL today. The other one we could use is the ball, but you may not see it on this video. For my TFL, I want to say um, we'll aim for, I call it the top pocket muscle with our clients. So that area there, and you can, you've got to explore a bit, right? So we'll lay on top of it. We'll see how it feels. And then once I've found that spot where it's like got that ouch feeling, you may not see it too well there, but imagine I'm laying down and when I can feel the pressure and it's like it makes me involuntary move, um, then you're going to work into that. So the idea is to release the pressure on that one as well. What happens is your TFL becomes very dominant if you're quad dominant. So that means that your glute isn't working as hard. It may not be switching on the back of your legs and that's causing this to work twice as hard. So we need to release it so that then eventually we can build strength back in the glute because that's firing and then our hamstring as well and that's what we're going to do next so ideally we want to build strength after we have mobilized the muscle what we're looking for is to build strength in the opposite direction of which way the leg may be failing so ideally we want our feet our knees to go over our toes sorry if you notice them collapsing in we need to create some external pressure to pull it in but us to fight it so we can build up strength and stability that would look like this so what we notice is the band under here is attached to the outside leg. Realistically, you should be pulling it in, so you want to make sure it's at a height that it's effectively doing that. From here, we want to be able to drive up and down. The key thing with this is you may need to move to find the place where you're feeling it more in your hamstring, which is the back of your leg, and your glute. If you're feeling it in your kneecap, you may need to adjust again or add more pressure externally so that you can use the right muscles. What we do after activating it, then we can go into our other exercises where we can build more strength through using heavier objects. Um, that's it for that video. Uh, ideally, you want to mobilize, activate, which is create stability through these exercises. Then you want to strengthen. So make sure you have a good strength protocol that's well balanced throughout your body so that you can build the support around your joints and then you can move with less pain or even without pain over time. 